So you're running out of storage and you want to upgrade to the larger drive, but you don't want to reinstall Windows. Then you have come to the right place, my brother. In this video, I want to show you guys how you can upgrade to larger drive without reinstalling Windows. So here is the example. You can see here this PC's C drive is almost full and I want to upgrade to another driver because it's too small. So I have already inserted the disk in here. You have to go into the disk management uh, once you insert your disk on your PC and then it will pop up this initialize disk. This basically detects your disk automatically and here you just need to click on OK and here you can see now we have a 250 gigabytes of storage device and this is the one that I want to upgrade to from this one which is almost full and I don't want to reinstall the windows I just want to keep my current installation so for that I'm going to use this software called disk copy from ease us you can download the software from this website I'll put link in the description for that you can go there and click on it and it will bring you here and from here you can click on this download link to download this once you download it just install it I have this thing already installed here you can see ease us disk copy I'm gonna open that up and this software can also detect the new drive so you just click on yes so here we can see we have disk 0 and disk 1 so disk zero is the C drive and disk one is the new drive where we want to put our current Windows installation and there are multiple options and you want to use one of these options disk mode or system mode I think the system mode works better if you're cloning the uh, Windows system to the new one so you should select the system mode and then here you need to select the target disk this is where we need to select our new disk so in our case, this is the disk one. So we're going to select that. So what this does is actually it automatically detects the drive where we have installed Windows. So you don't have to worry about selecting the wrong disk to clone. It will auto detect the Windows system drive. OK, so I'm going to select the new drive here as a target disk and I'm going to click next. Now here we can leave everything as it is. We do have a couple of options here. Auto fit the disk, copy as the source, edit disk layout. The best option is auto fit the disk. So just select that, which is default. So keep it as it is and click on proceed. Now it will give you a warning that it will format the target disk, basically the disk that you're trying to upgrade to the new one. So if there is something you should back up and then proceed with this as it's going to format that disk disk and it's going to clone the operating system and everything that you have on your system to that disk. Now just click on continue. Now it's going to start cloning the system files to the new disk. Now depending on the size of the system files it will take some time so you just have to wait here a couple of minutes until it says finished. Now once it's done it will give you two options automatically adjust the boot order to boot from the current target disk basically the new disk and second one I will set the boot order myself that means you have to do it manually if you're someone who can't do it manually you can go with the first option and you can click on reboot now and it will automatically boot your PC from the new drive okay so let's select the first option and let's click on reboot now now it's rebooted and let's check if it was successful Okay, we're going to go into this PC, C drive, and there we go. So now, basically, we are in the new disk. And you can see here, all the things are as it is. All the softwares, even the software that I just used to clone. Now let's go into the disk management. Okay, and here we can see the disk zero is there. But we don't need that anymore. We can now simply format that if we want to. This software is really simple and easy to use. And you don't even have to be the tech savvy person to use this. It does everything automatically for you. If you want to format your old disk, I recommend you guys to use the command prompt and disk part to format. Because if you try to format this from here, let's say for example, I'm going to format here. You can see it has multiple uh, partitions and you can't actually format some partitions and they're going to stay here as it is what i can do is here this is just extra tip for you guys run the command prompt as administrator this is powershell let me launch the command prompt now here type disk part now it's going to say disk part here now 
uh, type here list disk now it's going to show you all the disks available on your system now here in our case we want to delete the disk zero the old drive now here i need to type select disk zero that's the old drive that we want to format a and then i'm gonna write here clean okay just like that now it will say disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk now you can exit out from here now go back to disk management and here it will give you a pop-up that it found the new drive you can click on ok and here you can see the new drive is successfully formatted completely and there is no partitions that we can't delete all the partitions are actually gone now you can click on new volume and here is our old drive that we can use for something else maybe storing some files and whatnot and this is our new drive again i'll put link in the description for this software you can go there and download it and yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or any suggestions for me please do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.